Hello viewers, today is just about the middle of January and this will be this will call this relocation vlog number one the relocation process is officially underway and while it may not seem like it or it may be hard to believe I have in fact moved a fair bit of stuff off to a temporary location where it will reside until the permanent location is determined and secured and so forth so there's a couple of things I have to figure out which I would appreciate some input on for people that have done it before what is the best way to move ceiling fans now I have the blades all taken off and they're in those stacks there so that's easy I have all the irons wrapped up individually in a box so that's easy but the motors it seemed like it's gonna be a nightmare to try to move all these motors because you know a lot of them are are finishes that'll get scratched up real easily so they can't just be shifting around them in the car or something like that I'm gonna have to wrap up e each and every one of these I think which is really gonna be extremely time-consuming and that one's gonna spill oil everywhere <laughs> you know so that's um, that's gonna be interesting that's probably what I'm dreading the most out of everything is relocating the ceiling fans and then I have to leave I gotta leave two ceiling fans here so I'll probably put that Littleton here and then I'll put this uh, um, Walden here I gotta change out the rod because I can get a new Littleton that one isn't even one of the older ones that I wanted anyways so that's that um, yeah so I gotta move all the ceiling fans that's not gonna be fun over the last couple of months I have been kind of putting things into boxes so that I still have it here and can open the project and work on it and then put it back when I'm done uh, but at the same time a box is easy to put in the car and relocate real quick so that's good air conditioners are easy to move box fans are easy to move there's all box fans here that's easy to move um, this stuff is all boxed up a lot of the phone stuff is in small boxes I want to try to get through a lot of the cleanups like all these phones here need to be cleaned I want to try to do a lot of that those cleanups before the relocation because not gonna be focusing on a lot of small projects like that for a little while so I want to kind of stack up on those videos that I can put out over time. Most everything in here will be coming. There's a couple of things I want to start purging out. One of them is broken computers. Like I have so many laptops. Um, all these are working but th this one's busted out. That one's already been claimed. So I'll be sending that to somebody. I've got a bunch of, of uh, broke laptops in here. Here's a uh, an Avra Tech one. This is it's kind of a shame that this broke because this is a neat neat machine. It's never worked uh, since I got it. I got it from an entity who gave me a bunch of machines they wanted to have the data deleted from. It's uh, Windows XP, but it's it's Media Center Edition, which is kind of unusual. Media Center Edition 2005. And it seems like it would have been a decent quality machine. It's all metal and it's got uh, audio in and out, the SD card. You know, it's got some good ports on there, but it just doesn't work. It's no power, so it's really going to be a, probably a motherboard change out. And, I mean, I, reality be it, I'm never going to sit there and spend a fortune on another motherboard for this oddball machine and spend hours changing it out. Um, it's just not going to happen. I have uh, no, 
else do I have? I got these. One of these doesn't work. Came from the same person with the same uh, request. Yeah, this is HP. I never particularly like these things anyways, but I have this HP laptop. It's you know, one of the real tacky ones that he adds on here. Um, I mean, it's not bad processing power. It's quad core. Um, but it's absolutely filthy. And it's like cheap plastic and whatever. I'm just never going to use it. I have so many, probably over a hundred um, think pads from the same era with comparable specification. If I need a, a bogus machine for something, I would use one of those. I'm pretty sure this one is no power. That's completely dead. So we got all that. Um, I have this one, which I kind of want to keep this one because this is from the Windows Vista era. While I'm not really a fan of Acer, I don't have a whole lot of stuff from the Windows Vista era. And it's in pretty nice cosmetic condition. The problem with this one is the, the power cord is loose. So it kind of shuts off unexpectedly during operation. Now that looking at the port now, it doesn't seem like there's really anything wrong with it. I wonder if if I was using the wrong charger or something during the test. So I may revisit this one. I don't know. Then again, am I really ever going to get to it? I have some other stuff uh, that I have, but really don't have a use for it. There was uh, there will be a video of it soon. I just recorded the video today. It's a Sony Handycam uh, eight millimeter tape unit and uh, it's a really cool camera but it doesn't work and I don't really specialize in camera repair I don't know enough about it to want to tear that thing apart and try to fix it because I don't think I would be successful and so it doesn't work what am I ever going to do with it it's got to go to somebody else um, so if, if anybody wants a camera like that you know, or if, if somebody has interest in a couple of these computers, price your shipping and it's yours. Um, you know, if, if I know you, I'm not going to be sending something to random people now. Uh, so that's that. Uh, what else do we have here? Most of the fans, yeah, all the fans are going to come. I don't really have any, uh, I don't really have a whole lot of fans I would junk. You know, they're all, I mean, they're all good fans. I don't really have any junk fans. And all the fans, I, mean, I can fix them, you know. So, let's see here. That's, uh, that's going to be a big project. I know someone asked to see that. I got to do that still. There's just some other miscellaneous things that I need to get rid of. Oh, what is even in this cabin? I don't remember. It's kind of hard to open this. Yeah, I mean, this is all more more phone stuff is in here. Some similar fans. I've accumulated a bunch of broken KD as I gotta get rid of all these. I think there's seven or eight of them here. These are all just modern ones that just up and quit. So I gotta get rid of those. I think somebody wanted to see a video on those. I gotta look back and see who that was. You can see through the shelves now, so it's it's clearing out. It's gonna be a uh, it's going to be a long time in coming, but uh, it's in progress. Uh, a lot of stuff in here to move. Well, that's it for this one. Um, I don't know when the next video is going to come out. 
I don't really intend to record videos of taking things out of here and then moving them to the temporary location, but I may... I'll, I'll definitely do some videos of taking things from the temporary location to the permanent location. But I don't think... Unless something interesting surfaces, I don't really think that taking things out of here is going to be worth the film. So, um, that's that. I'm going to, I want to dig out some old pictures and videos of the studio over the years because this, this room has been in use for almost 11 years now, I think. And it used to look very different. So I want to dig out some old photographs and look through the way it used to be as kind of like a commemoration of this, uh, of this studio channel was born in this studio and hundreds of projects and restorations and thousands of videos have been recorded here a lot of work um, but it's time to move on so that's that um, over and out